Hey guys, back here with Barry, and I want to introduce you to a guy named Daniel I met through my partner Johnny not too long ago, and we're all about information and about success stories, and you know, you hear so much doom and gloom about young people, and well, I got to know this guy over the last couple of weeks, and you know, old Barry just tells it straight, and damn if he didn't impress me, and I like success, and I like people that got the stones to go out there and make it happen for themselves and their future. So we're going to do this interview in a bit of something I call Spanglish, a little bit of English, a little bit of Spanish, and we're going to do this together with a really cool, successful young family that's really impressed me a lot. Daniel, say hi to everybody. There's hi, everybody. Lots of people seeing your face. and. Uh, I want to ask you, and Johnny's going to do this part of it in Spanish because mine's pretty good. I'm about 75-80% there. Johnny's closer to 100% of the Dominican Spanish. But um, you are originally from Cabrera, is this correct? Yes. And you have taken the gamble when you were younger, and you decided to pack up and leave to Nantucket, which is not all that uncommon. Is that correct? Yes. And how long ago was that? My first year in Nantucket was 2005. 2005. And since then, you were able to build yourself a business from scratch. Yes. You started this from ground zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the reason why we're going here is we want to make a point. While it might be more difficult for young people in one country over another, I don't dispute that fact. The fact I dispute is if you want it, it's there. You can do it, but you have to work for it. And Daniel didn't know any of this was going to happen. Daniel didn't know everything was going to turn out the way it did, but uh, when I saw the type of home his family is constructing, uh, wow, I was impressed. Uh, what size is this home? It's about 400 meters. So that's, meters. Uh, that's around 4,500 <coughs> square feet for all you guys out there in America. Canada's used to the metric. and Daniel, in your words, and then we're going to switch it to Spanish, because I really want to reach the young audience. we got a lot of following of the young Dominican people here, but tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you what you face to become as successful as you become at such a young age, and I'm jealous of that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, in Spanish language. Let's start English, and then we'll get John and you in Spanish, and I'll dub in in Spanish and really mess it up, and we'll have a good time. You know, I, I just work hard and try to invest the money the, the right way to, to be able to grow and, and, and have something for the future. What type of, of business are you running now? I know it's something to do with engines and, and machinery. and it, it's, a, it's a shop. We do small engine equipment, especially for landscaping business. Okay, landscaping, private or golf course type equipment? It, it's a, uh, landscaping okay. for home. When you went to Nantucket first, you just obviously didn't go and open a business. You worked for someone else, correct? Yes. I, I, <coughs> when I moved to Nantucket in 2005, I didn't know any English. Johnny helped me. And he's pretty good at that, yeah. With the English. And I started working at a golf course, my Acoma Golf. Okay. For about eight years. So out there in my free time... I go to the shop with the mechanic and, and start learning okay. for free. I help him for free. Yeah. So I learn what he does and now I make money of that. That's how I started too. I was lugging scuba tanks for free for a dive shop before I became an underwater photographer. Yeah, it's, it's like the, you have to do what you don't want to do to get to where you want to be sometimes, right? Exactly. 
Tony, I want you to ask for our, our younger Spanish crowd here. I want you guys to talk a little bit about the facts of some of the things about how this business started for Daniel, sure. what his future plans are, mm -hmm. um, how he actually works one country and invests money in another, which is, yeah, you know, right. earning dollars and investing in pesos is usually a smart right. idea, but you guys talk about that a little bit, and we're, we're not going to take too much of Daniel's time. All right. <clears throat> Bueno, Daniel, muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Eh, mi primera pregunta es, ¿en qué año tú fuiste a los Estados Unidos? ¿En qué año? Eh, yo viví muchos años en Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. Y luego me mudé a, a Nantaca en el 2005. Uh -huh. Ok, está bien, está bien. Entonces, ¿cuándo tú, uh, ¿cuánto tiempo tú tenías como creciendo y después comienzo su negocio? Pues trabajé del 2005 a finales de 2008 uh -huh. y mi primer año compré una finquita aquí. ¿Una finquita aquí? Oh. En, en Cabrera. Okay. En el 2008, diciembre del 2008, regresé a Puerto Rico y compré una, una discoteca. Comprar una discoteca, well, damas y caballeros, eh, es una cosa que yo no sabía, pero qué bueno. Comprarte una discoteca en Puerto Rico. Vendí la tierrita aquí, con ese dinero que, que gané, compré una discoteca en Puerto Rico. Ok. Y tuve el negocio por tres años. ¿En cómo, ¿Cómo fue este negocio allá en Puerto Rico? Eh, muy bueno, pero muy, muy estresante. Ok. A lot of stress. Sí. Yeah. A lot of stress. And Después, y después, con la negocio en el parque, ¿cuándo comienza eso? Eh, después de tener la discoteca en Puerto Rico tres años, la vendí y regresé a Nantaque. Okay. A ah, trabajar al mismo lugar. I want to interrupt you for our English viewers, okay? Danielle's saying, because like I say, I, I, I do understand the language fairly well. <coughs> He also has another business. And I didn't know this. You see, uh, the, 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 the entrepreneurship is, is that he also has a discotheque in Puerto Rico. Now, did the storm hurt you much, the past hurricane? Uh, I, I saw that. That business. Business to sell. And you saw it three years ago? Or? About, like, uh, that was I saw in 2011, I saw it. Okay. Five, just five, five, six years, five, six years. Yeah. Was it a profitable uh, uh, gamble for you when you did? It, yes, I make good money. Good for you. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll continue on with that, but I just wanted the English crowd to understand okay. that part. Okay, so, and dígame, so, tú comenzaste en, en 2013 con tu negocio de nuevo, hola. Sí. Okay, so started your business in 2013 and como la landscaping, como la máquina... Arre Arreglando máquinas para la, los negocios de, de landscaping. Ok, so fixing the machines uh, for the landscaping people. Eh, hay, ¿Cómo es la demanda? ¿Siempre hay demanda por eso en la verano y la, en invierno también? Sí, mucha demanda. Ok, año entero. Año entero, pero me dedico en el verano a trabajar más en, en el área de landscape que que en el taller. En el taller es más para el invierno. Le damos mantenimiento a todas las compañías. Se le paran, Y en el invierno, so, Daniel's saying that he has work in the summer full time and work in the winter full time, so he's got a very smart method of maintaining successful business. ¿Cuánto tiempo por año he visitado la país? Por lo menos dos y tres veces al año vengo aquí. Okay, so two or three times a year you come here. Okay. Excellent. So next time you come, uh, we're going to go and talk to Salah, and we'll keep the program. Mira, en final, ¿cuáles son tus planes for the future? What are your plans for the future? Mi plan para el futuro es empezando en cinco años venir a y quedarme aquí por los seis meses de invierno. Okay, so he wants to come here in five years and six months in Vienna in the winter and then the state mess is verano allá and six months in Mentaca. Okay. Ese es mi plan a cinco años. En cinco años. In five years. Okay, in five years he wants to do that. Y luego 
me gustaría invertir más aquí en un negocio y vivir aquí. So he would like to, he would like to invest uh, here and live here. Para siempre o como? Pa para siempre. Ah, para siempre. For always. Mira. Buena comida, orgánico, sí, tranquilidad. Claro. Sí. No estresa, no estresa. No estresa. Sin estresa, es normal, color, no es... Uh, no es gris. Es canoso, ¿eh? Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead, buddy. No, you go ahead. Yo quiero ustedes enviar un mensaje por lo, los que, las personas pensando cómo yo puedo mejorar mi vida. Sí, la persona es joven. Las personas joven, exactamente. Like, what is, I just want to explain, I was going to ask that wanted question. to explain, I want him to give a message to the younger Spanish people, you know, to motivate them on what has been his experience and what is his message for those people who wish to get ahead in life. Mi mensaje es como trabajar duro y no quitarse. Hay que... Trabajar pensando en el futuro para, para luego tener la oportunidad de, de ver esos frutos. Y sí, como tú, tú cosechas, como tú siembras. Exacto, yo trabajo en el verano aproximadamente 80 horas a la semana. Ok, déjame explicar algo. So he's saying to everyone out there, you gotta work hard if you want to get ahead, it's a sacrifice. And you know, you read what you sell, and in the in the summertime he's working 80 hours. 80 hours a semana. Or a veces más. A veces más. Or a veces más. Or sometimes more. Tal vez 90. Si. 90 hours a week. Entonces al trabajar 80 horas en el verano, si cuando yo quiero venir de vacaciones y rentar una villita en Cabrera, no se me hace difícil y, y eso es lo que me da la motivación de trabajarlo porque tienen la oportunidad de disfrutar. Daniel, por favor, esa oportunidad con los jóvenes dominicanos aquí en el país, ¿cuál es el más bueno para eh, hacer cuerpo en otro país? Eh, Estados afuera. Unidos, Canadá. Yo, yo no creo que, que para crecer tú tienes que salir de aquí. Okay. He's saying, basically, uh, Barry was asking him in Spanish, do you think it is better to leave this country and go up somewhere else? And, and Daniel's saying, in his honest opinion, no, you don't need to leave here. No creo que para crecer tiene que salir de aquí. El problema es que la cultura que tenemos aquí, solo trabajamos cinco días a la semana, 40 horas a la semana, entonces, si yo hago eso mucho en Estados Unidos, no tendría no la oportunidad. oportunidad. Sí. de crecer, porque es, tú ganas en, en cinco días, 40 horas a la semana, solo para vivir. Sí. No puedes ahorrar. Si tú quieres ahorrar, tienes que forzarte más. Exactamente. Dame traducir eso. He's saying, well, like here, in the culture here, people usually work five days a week, 40 hours a week, and with this, you're not going to grow. You, you've got to put in the time, you've got to put in the hours. Pero esa es la situación en cualquier país. Es el mismo en todos lugares. En todos lugares. It's the same in other countries, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was working in uh, when I was working in London, I was working 80 or 90 hours a week to get ahead. Because you have to, if you want to get ahead. I did. I did the same. You in did my the same. Time too, when yeah. I was, yeah, it was 90, 90, 95 hours yeah. a week at time. I have another question though, Daniel, es el más importante y no lo creo del país, el más importante tiene con el corazón, el fuerte, el drive, to go forward. Como la fuerza. Exacto, eso es lo que, lo que me refiero, tienes que, que tener esa fuerza, de tener esa ambición de crecer. Por ejemplo, yo no tuve la oportunidad de crecer aquí porque yo no, yo no elegí. Dime, a mí me llevaron cuando yo era pequeño. Okay. ¿Cuántos okay. años tú tenías cuando tú, tú, tú saliste de aquí? Yo tenía cinco años. Ok, so, he didn't, he didn't really grow up here. He left here when he was five years old. Uh, ¿Fue de Puerto Rico? A Puerto Rico. He went to Puerto Rico. Okay. So, pero viendo aquí, sí se puede. Hay muchos muchachos jóvenes aquí que tienen ambición de crecer y lo han logrado. So he's saying that there are people here who do have the ambition to grow. And, and they do grow. 
Sí, en el club, yeah, exactamente. So, yo pienso que no importa dónde tú estés, si tú tienes la, la ambición y, y la, las ganas, tú puedes estar hablando. He's saying it doesn't matter where you grow up, it doesn't matter in what country. If you have that drive and ambition, you will get ahead. Daniel, I know it's your last day here before you go back uh, to get back to the shop and get things back in order. And uh, I really do appreciate you taking a few minutes with us to help possibly some younger local people. Uh, you should be an inspiration to a lot of them. Is there any last words you could share with the young Dominican people about who are dreaming that sometimes they just feel due to circumstances they don't have a chance to get ahead? Is there any last bit of uh, suggestion or advice or you can put into their heads? Que hay que, hay que forzarse, hay que sacrificar para tener la oportunidad de, de disfrutar. Y siempre hay que pensar en el futuro. No, no piense que solo vivir hoy, tienes que pensar en el futuro. Si te ganas 10 pesos, gasta 8, pero no los gastas los 10. Tienes que ir pensando en el futuro. Okay. Es, es, es mi opinión. So basically what he's saying is, you have to think in your future, you have to sacrifice, you know, if you get 10 pesos, if you make 10 pesos today, uh, you know, and you, you spend eight, you've got to keep the other two. You've got to think ahead of your future, sacrifice, motivation, and strength and determination. Daniel, gracias por tu tiempo. Gracias a ti, And I hope we get to be close friends every time now you come back. And uh, my house is your house because your house is a lot nicer than mine, so I know what it's like. <laughs> uh, this is an investment, you see, for the future. He's got a better house. Yeah. But um, this very for something feels wrong, and if you hear some jackhammers in the back, you'll have to forgive us because Daniel's staying in the Montana Mata project, and construction is it has big time. There's another uh, property right in front of us breaking ground, so you'll have to ignore if there's any background noise. Until next time, this is Barry in DR. We'll talk soon. <laughs>